everybody, I'm Sandy. Welcome to Virtual STEM Club Investigative Crew. Today we're going to be dissecting owl pellets. If you don't know what an owl pellet is, it's the parts of the food an owl has eaten that it can't digest and then they spit it back out. Let's have some fun. You should have already picked up your take and make bag with the contents for this project. When you open it up, you're going to find the instruction sheet, an owl infographic, a chart that's going to show you some of the different bones you might find in the owl pellet, some safety glasses, a magnifying glass, some tweezers, a wooden scalpel, two rubber gloves, a paper plate, and of course your owl pellet. And now we're ready to get started with step one. We'll take our safety glasses and put those on, and then we'll take our gloves and put those on as well. And if you have to wiggle around to get those on correctly, that's okay. If they don't feel right, you can always switch them around and try that and see if it feels any better. And once we've got those in place, we'll be ready to move on to step two. All right, for step number two, we're gonna take the owl pellet out of the bag and set it on the plate. And then, we're using this as our work area, we're going to take the pellet out of the foil. So we'll start unwrapping it like this. And then once we get it unwrapped, we'll take it and set it on the plate and set the foil aside. Okay, now we're gonna move on to step number four. And just remember that you need your wooden scalpel and your tweezers for this step. And what we're going to do is break the pellet into pieces. And you might have to use some muscles. Um, and I don't, every pellet's gonna look a little different and every pellet's going to have different things in it. Um, and remember, this is, stuff that the owl couldn't digest. So we're gonna learn things from this. But it's kind of stuck together. Um, not really, I'm seeing some little bones in here. So I'm not sure what this guy ate. Um, but just keep, do you wanna use them? Oh, so you can take your scalpel maybe and try to pull some of the bones away from the um, I'm guessing that's hair of some sort. And maybe if you need to use them, you could use the pointed end of the scalpel and pull the bones out like this with the tweezers. And once we get all done with this, then we'll kind of see what we have. Yeah, right, we just just keep breaking it apart with your scalpel and the tweezers and see what you can find in there. Um, and maybe put the hair to the side and the rest of it over to another side. Um, interesting things in here. And just keep working those pieces. It appears to be a jawbone that we found in this pellet. Um, in a minute, we'll have to put it on the chart and see which animal we can match it with. This appears to be a piece of a skull. That's pretty cool. We'll have to, again, use the chart and see if we can figure out which animal it might be from. And this one appears to be a piece of a leg bone or maybe possibly a piece of a wing. So it'll be kind of neat to figure out what that's from. All right, the final step in our project is to 
take a closer look at the bones and see what kind of interesting things you can find in them. And then you can take and compare the bones to the different pictures on your chart. And using these tweezers, it's kind of tricky and holding on to things. Um, and I don't know, this looks like maybe it might be a jaw. Um, it might be a scapula. I'm not really sure. Or it might even be a pelvic bone. Could be either or. It's kind of big. I'm thinking maybe I'll put that one there. Um, then there's leg bones. Um, this one's a straight leg bone. Or maybe an arm, but um, maybe here. And then you can kind of compare also on the chart. Um, oh, and yeah, we can't forget our skull. Let me think. This one's kind of small, maybe a shrew. Um, oh my goodness. What the heck is that? Not really sure. What do you guys think? Interesting. Do we see anything like that on here? Hmm. I'm not even sure, guys. But it's pretty interesting. Okay. So continue to match the pieces and parts, the bones and whatnot, that you found to the chart and see what kind of interesting animals this owl ate. And for a little additional learning, we did include an owl, a barn owl infographic that tells you a little bit of information about the owls. We here at the library would love to see you in action enjoying this project. Take a picture or a quick video and email it to us at the address on the screen. Thank you for joining us for today's virtual STEM Club investigative crew. I hope you guys had a great time. And don't forget to join us next month for Wigglebots. Have a great day.